Welcome. Hello, how's it going? Hey Frank, how you doing? Yeah, I made it, uh, I made it last night and it's kind of messing with it today. It's just a placeholder for now, but I kind of like it. It's, uh, I guess if you hover over it, you can see it a little bigger. The annoying thing is though, like on Twitch, it puts a, an outline around, um, I guess it, it puts an outline around it, which is kind of annoying. It I don't know if there's a way to fix that. Yeah, it's more of a roguish rap, you know. It's uh, it's about. I did it on a thirty-two by thirty-two canvas, so it's quite small, which is why it doesn't. It, I still need to add some detail, um, but for now, I, I'm kind of happy with it, you know. Let me load up CUD here. We're gonna play a little bit of CUD. Um, and maybe something else a little later. Have you ever played Luck Be a Landlord? Yeah, it's it's really hard. Like it's tempting to make a huge one, but I, I kind of like doing like 16 is too small, but 32 is like the kind of sweet spot for me. I do I do enjoy using 64 by 64, um, but any bigger than that and it's like too much. Unless you're doing like a big, you know, like a like a, a background or something. Like you, I, what size did you when you did your um your like uh, scenery thing? How big was that? Like be a land. How how you doing, Storm? Seems like an incredible Skinner box that's merciful enough not to have microtransactions. Yeah. Um. I think I I freaking love luck being landlord. It's uh it's a great just kind of zoning out game. Um played quite a lot of it. I played let me check. I played played 16 hours of it. But who knew that a um a uh what do you call it? What the hell are those machine chords? Um What the hell is it called? Doing good for the most part. What's up? You made it 320 by 160. Yeah, that's a, that's a good size. I think I did the same from for like this um, this screen, and then I just scaled it up to 1080. Well, actually, what I do is I start with a 1080 by uh, 1920 canvas and then I scale it down to like 20% or something and then I'll scale it back up so I can get everything you know you don't get any kind of errant pixels then all right let me load up cud I thought we'd go with the spooky soundtrack today what you guys been up to today anything good you done any more moving yet, Storm? I got a lovely little rum and coke on the go right now. Very tasty. Oh no, I hope the wife feels better soon. What's up? Is it like a like a bug or something, like a sickness? Being ill in the summer is so much worse than being ill in winter. Like, so much worse. I hate it. Always seems to happen. I always... Weirdly, I, I, I tend to get colds. Uh, or, or, like, the flu in summer, somehow. Take about nine-ish months for her to feel better. Oh, dude, congrats! Hey, there's gonna be a little storm running around. Congrats, dude. Aww. Everybody's having babies right now. It's it's, it's kind of cool. I'm finally at the age where like uh, everybody I know is starting to have kids and things, and it's good for me because I get to kind of just be like a a cool uncle, you know. Who are we playing? We're playing Meaty McDonough here. 
That's great news though, Storm. I'm really happy for you. Alright, what were we doing? I think we were just we were just running around kind of leveling yesterday. Let's do some quests. Also, let's check where we Oh, we're lost. Okay, that's what we were doing. Do you plan on having kids? I don't plan on having kids, but um I'm open to it at some point. You know, the beauty about being a guy is <laughs> I, I don't I don't really feel like I'm in a rush to have kids, you know? Um I would like to one day. But but not right now. My life is in no way set up to have kids. You know, honestly, I'll settle for, like, uh, getting married first, maybe, and, and having, like, uh, a couple dogs. Just to just to get me used to having kids, you know, because I, I think it's going to be... Well, they say it's the hardest job in the world, right? That and rocket science, so... I don't know which one's harder. What do we have here? We have corrosive gas, that's right. And beguiling. How about you, Frank? You give up on kids. You wanted to be, it wasn't a priority. Yeah, it's not really a priority for me just yet. Oh, we're a, we're a cannibal, that's right. Not a cannibal, a carnivore. Eating meat. Kind of causing you to freak out and go into overdrive on moving so she can rest and focus on person making in progress. You worked yourself ragged this past weekend. Yeah, I, I can see that, man. I, it's like a... How long have you known? Because I guess that first moment where you find out, like, oh my god, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm creating a human being, it must be really surreal, but also kind of terrifying. But I'm sure you're gonna smash it, dude. You got this. Don't worry. Am I lost? I'm not lost. All right, good. Does Star excite me? Uh, bing bong, bing bong. No, they're all the way over here. Here's one. Here's another. This one's definitely doable today. Okay, uh, quests. What, what, what are we going to do here? We're going to go... We've got Golgotha. Don't think we're quite ready. I would like a little more armor before we uh, tackle Golgotha. We're sorted for weapons. Luckily, we have a pretty good still with a, a Dromad that sells decent armor. So maybe we'll mill around the uh, the desert, make some uh, some money, and then go tackle Golgotha. It's her grandma's old place, and her brother used to live there. So it's a huge mixture of old lady stuff plus disgusting bachelor pad detritus. <laughs> Give me an example of disgusting bachelor pad detritus. Hey, Gothic, how you doing? Hope you're all well. Hope you're doing great. Um, and Frost. I almost didn't see you there. You're the same color as Frank on my screen. How are you doing, Frost? Are you streaming tonight? Mm -mm 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 -mm. You found out two-ish weeks ago. Ah, well, maybe maybe Frost and uh, Gothic can give you some tips. I'm good, thanks, Gothic. Not not bad. Yeah, I can imagine it would be quite centering for sure. You're starting in about an hour. Awesome. Well, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, to pop in because. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and do, like, a slightly shorter stream today. Maybe three or four hours. Found out what? I'm nosy. Uh, Storm is with child. Well, his wife is with child. Um, they've just found out, basically, two weeks ago, so... How, how old is your little one? I mean... Obviously, if you don't have to tell me, but I'm just curious. T 
Top shelf of one of the bedroom closets contained a truly disgusting forgotten bong and mouldy mouldy weed, dude. Five used condoms. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you, uh, five used condoms, kept, not thrown away, kept. Okay, that that is truly heinous. Also, um, in terms of mouldy, uh, disgusting, forgotten bongs, I mean, I, I have a, I have like a, a drawer down here. I don't, I don't smoke weed anymore, but I do still have my bong, and I, <laughs> I did not clean it. I did not clean it at all before I stopped. I can't be bothered to buy isopropyl alcohol. I'll probably bury it in the garden at some point as a kind of like final farewell, you know. Yeah, that is truly a cursed closet. Ah, ten months. Oh man, that's a that's a that's a difficult age, right? Like I have a um, I have a a cousin. He's he's four now, but I remember when he was like super young and man it's um it's a mixture of of tears um more tears and dribbling he didn't want his ex-wife finding about his activities so he just threw them up there because she's too short to reach it Bury it at the bottom of the bin. Yeah, like, if you're really paranoid, put it in the bin, but, like, at the bottom. Uh, okay, I have a, I have a story, right? Um, I live in a, I live in a house share. Um, it's a big house. It's five bedrooms. Like, there's four of, four other people here, and, um... Oh, boy, the Isakari truck. Okay. And, um... About about four years ago, the person that did this no longer lives here. But they, um, you know, they they had someone over, and instead of throwing the condom away, they put it in the recycling bin. Our recycling bin is in our house, and we put all of our you know recyclables in it. And then like every every few days, we'll take that bin to the outside bin and pour it in. Anyway, it's my turn my turn to clean this week, and. Um, you know, I was minding my own business, taking out the recycling, poured it in the bin. Felt something, uh, like, brush past my hand. Look down, it's a fucking Johnny. And... I was so angry, dude. I, I didn't even know, like... What's the point of this village? It, yeah, it, like, brushed past my hand. I looked, it's a it's a condom used. Um I like throw the <laughs> I think I like I threw the recycling bin on the floor and like stormed inside, knocked on their door, because I knew it was them. Um they weren't in, so later on that day I had a, a, a much calmer conversation with them about their I don't know, their their thought process. And they never really gave me a, I can't remember what they said, but it wasn't a convincing answer. It wasn't good enough for me. But, um, there you go. What can you do, you know? Alright, we're done here. Mm. He's at the crawling and standing stage now, finding every crumb on the floor, too. Yeah. My, um, one of my bandmates is expecting a second child, uh, very soon. And he often tells me, like, you really have to, um, like, baby, babies, you know, they're, they're, they're really intrigued, but they're really curious. And you have to make sure, like, everything is away, you know. Which, that in and of itself is, uh, probably quite frustrating. Uh, who am I looking for here? I'm looking for the Dromad, and also this guy. It's got nothing good. Although, wait, 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 wait. Here's a little tip. Always look at these bottles. They say have any lore on them. They do not. Okay, cool. Uh, we have bookbinders, so let's go chat with the bookbinder. 
anyway, yeah, that was the uh, that was the condom story that tipped me over the edge. How can any answer be convincing? I know. I just wanted to. I just wanted to understand why. You know, I didn't understand why. I still don't really understand why. Anyway, let's get some warden rep here. We can learn shield if we want. That might not be a bad idea, you know. Fuck it. Let's learn shield. Gothic's phone just died. She'll reply soon. Oh, okay. No problem. What are you streaming tonight, Frost? What are you streaming? Oh, yeah. You remember yesterday we raided somebody at the end of the stream? I, I said in their chat... Um, you know, because uh, uh, they, they were playing card, and I said, you know, oh, is someone approaching 100%, have you found a frog to teach you how to jump yet? And someone screenshotted it and, and tweeted it. Um, and one of the devs from Caves of Cud, um retweeted it, which was kind of cool. Who is these Schrodinger pages for? Uh, Soul Curd Church Chapter. I don't know who the hell you guys are. And a random village. Okay. That's no good. Started a new card playthrough and all of the, the still is full of cooks and kippers. Yeah, look. It, it, same for me, dude. I wish, kind of like the Icor Merchant, I wish you would guarantee that at least like one Tinker and maybe a jeweler but maybe possibly that would make the game too easy you know did you get any dromads in your um still where is this other book binder i know there's another one here somewhere oh i i ran him into the middle of the the map didn't i um hold on he's up here chilling up here because we tried to beguile him and it, it went horribly wrong should we try again see what he has first nothing all right do you want to come back with me did not like that. Now we give him the old one, two. Oh, he found me. Congrats. I hope you're proud. And then we sprint. Problem is, he's got a friggin' deer person with him that can out sprint us. I think we made it. We're good. We're good. All right. Still can't beguile. Right, give me give me the dromad. You are up this way, possibly. Nope. No dromad. There's one book binder at least. An armor. Found the corpus chalice. Super quick. Okay, that's good. But even then, like you know, obviously there's the guaranteed corpus in. The ape village. But still, it's nice to have. Early on. I wish the dromad would stay in one place. Ooh, spooky music. That's a mirror bug. Oh, remember, we also left Man Opener in a random location, didn't we? Yesterday. Alright, I don't know where the Dromad is, which is a little bit scary. Why is there blood? This guy never has anything good to sell. I guess I'll take the bronze ingots. of all of this except for the stun the explosive grenade guess I can sell that with a battery and whatever portable walls don't need them I don't really understand uh, a good way to, to use portable walls there we go Oh, 
Terraria tonight and Little Nightmares. What what is Little Nightmares again? I recognize the name, but I'm I'm not actually familiar with it. Oh uh, yeah, the corpus is guaranteed. You can buy it from the mayor in the Ape Village. He always has it. You mean that your your character is not specced in memory? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know what that means, Frank. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I, I don't know where the Dromad is. Um, I'm kind of worried that he's just kind of buggered off and gone somewhere. Um, whatever. He, he was in here last time. Maybe he's just not appearing on the... Um, yeah, he's, he's right here. Yeah, he doesn't... Oh, he's appeared on it now. Maybe you have to have a visual for things to appear on the... Oh, he's outside. Let's just follow these guards. If Frank IRL was a character, his memory skill would be real low. Oh, I get you now. Well, you know what? I, I, my memory skill is like in the minus, so don't even worry about it. All right, Dromad, where are you? I'm very confused right now. Let's follow the tortoise. It's going this way. I'm so sorry. Bear with me whilst I... Try and track this guy down. Little Nightmares. You play as a child trying to escape a boat from messed up adults of the world. Think Limbo or Inside for the feel of the game and Tim Burton. Ah, uh, okay. I do remember Limbo. That had a really cool, uh, like, vibe to it. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm giving up for this drone map. Whatever, dude. It actually kind of, that, that premise sounds very, um, Binding of Isaac-esque, to be honest. Is it like a, a platformer? This, this is so annoying. Look, I just need to check for armor. I'm worried that the uh, the Dromad has despawned, perhaps. Yeah, whatever. Okay, uh, let's go. Uh... Let's see what we're dealing with over here. It would be nice to pick up a laser pistol. Equip our other chrome revolver. Do we have a Kimbo? No, we don't have a Kimbo yet, but we'll get it soon enough. We can't go too deep here because we're probably going to get set on fire. I will kill a goat because uh, I need the meat. Man, my Snapdraw Warrior is doing pretty well. Oh, a null worm skull. Nice, nice, nice. What do we currently have on? A leather cap. There you go, that's extra... Ego. For us. I think we actually have plus two Ego right now from gear. Yeah, we do. Like a platform, a bit of... Bit of Oh, but a 3D platformer. That's kind of cool. I'll have to check that out. I've been trying to get into platformers a bit more. Um, I haven't really played one the longest, other than maybe Spelunky. All right, level 13. 
we can't be here at level 13. This is craziness. We keep go uh, going with corrosive gas, though. We're going to be fine. Let's get an extra strength point. I think we can actually now learn Berserk. Yeah, we can. If we had 300, we could learn Berserk. That's really cool. Uh, what is slinging around that? No accuracy for firing pistols while running. Okay, I never, never do that. So. All right, here comes the fire. Are you going to come up? No, you're not going to come up. You're just going to be annoying. We will come back here for a laser pistol later on. I, I don't think we can do it right now. Alright, well, since we have to go to Golgotha... Travel to the workshop of Mad Id, legendary gunsmith, and close the venerable door. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That, that sounds like a, a good quest. Let's go do that. It's right here. Also, we get a legendary gunsmith to speak with. He could have some, uh, some cool stuff. If the music is a bit uh, bit much, please let me know, and I will I will put something else on. I've been impaled. Help! Alright, we've learned a location of a village. Forgot that we had trash divining. Alright, here's the uh, the legendary gunsmith. Uh, hated by a cult of coiled lamb. Disliked by the freehold. Hated by unshelled reptiles. Alright, mm, I don't like that he's not liked by the freehold. What do you have? You've got... Probably a bunch of guns that we don't understand. Do you ID? You don't ID. What is this way? This way's one. A lacquered weird artifact. I have no idea what that could be. I love the little club symbol. That's a nice touch. Let's get all of the free lore we can from... from this stuff. Um... It doesn't have anything better than chrome revolvers so i'm not going to buy anything off him although i have a feeling one of these is maybe like a uh maybe a semi automatic pistol or something weird artifact times 29 what would that be these could be rockets possibly I guess I'll, you know what, we have money, why don't we just start buying crap and IDing it as soon as we can. Take this and, you know, take one of these, give me an excess of water. I'm going to take a risk and try and ID it myself. The scoped chrome revolver, okay, amazing. Scope gives us extra chance to hit, right? Lots of good stuff here for selling. And we're hungry again. I think we've got tapeworm. That would be a cool uh, defect to add to the game, actually. Tapeworm.
causes you to get hungry 50% more often and it gives you two two points it would be an easy one to negate with um what is that skill called fasting way Oh wait, we need to shut a door, don't we? Uh, for the quest. My bad. Uh, where is it? There it is. Done. What a riveting quest. Go to a place and close the door. Uh, what is this and why do I have it highlighted? I think that was an old quest. I can I can unmark that now. All right, let's go hand this in. I don't forget that we have corrosive gas. I just, I don't want to kill my Snapjaw. He's actually helping us out quite a bit at the moment. Just to give one ego. Yeah, we can just eat this then. Might as well clean up a little bit here. The objective today, yeah, definitely do. We're going to do Golgotha pretty soon. Also, I'm going to prioritize exploring the jungle once we hit like maybe level 15, 16. Uh, take the jungle slow because the jungle is where we're going to start seeing frogs, right? And if if we if we're going to get the the frog achievement, um, we're going to have to we're going to have to hang out in the jungle quite a bit. And also the deep jungle where you get the pearl frogs, which are like the big bloated frogs. Um, I figured, you know what, that 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 achievement, why are you bleeding? That achievement's going to be difficult, so we may as well uh, attempt to to get it any any chance we get, you know, with like every playthrough, so. Flower fields. I don't want to be in the flower fields. And if I'm feeling a bit cheeky, I may attempt to reach the freehold today as well, just to set up a little base there. All right, we found some ruins. You know what ruins mean? Oh, getting shot by a, a musket. I see a kipper. Why is there a kipper here? What are you doing? You're just chilling. <laughs> Entertaining the crotch goblin. No worries, Frost. Take it easy, man. Yeah, see, our snapjaw's doing work. I'm actually going to give him some nice armor if I come across anything. Oh, before I forget, let's treat all of these as scrap. Oh no, we can't because we we don't have disassemble yet. Damn it. Okay. Dude, do not kill my snapjaw, please. Alright, I'm gonna corrosive gas right here. There we go. Get away from here, please. I think he almost died. Yeah, he's badly wounded. All right, let's uh, let's wait a little time here. I think he may have died. 
No, 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 no. He's good. He's he's down here. There we go. He finally died. Damn. That's a shame. <gasps> Wait, what? Do you see that? You see what he was holding? He had a he he has an artifact on him. It's just a steel battle axe, but I actually don't know what's so good about this. Maybe he just named it. I think it actually that's what happened. So I think when when your um when your followers level up, they just like you, the player character, they get a, a choice sometimes to to give a name to a, a piece of armor. Or a, or a weapon. And I think that's all this is. It's just a named. But that is really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to take this. I, I would... I wish it was a bit more common, naming your gear in card, because I really love doing that. Do we still have the... Um... No, I, I didn't know if we had a uh, Eater's Nectar Injector. I think we used both of them yesterday. Alright, we're going to grab the musket for now. Very heavy, but you can always sell it. Grab some books. You know what we could also do on this character is keep an eye out for Eisner. Wait, did we have a... Am I, am I getting confused with another character? We had a, a beetle. No, we didn't have any beetles. Okay. But we had a quest to get something for a beetle. Have you installed any mod for this playthrough? Are you thinking of adding one for building? Yeah, so I was... I really want to. The problem is, with the weekly updates, I, I'm worried that they're going to break. Like, every Friday. You know? Um... I am definitely open to it though, because I think building a base would be uh, would be really cool. I guess that's the good thing about um, having beguiling to an extent, because you can actually just bring like good traders and things to one location. And then if we get the 3D cobblers, we can just uh, put a bunch of walls around but definitely I, I do i do want to build a base and if there's a way to wire the base up with like uh electric uh with electricity like running through the walls that would be really cool and you can have like uh lights you could like take this light for example um have like another maybe like a, a door all right so this is just a just a place where a guy's chilling Uh, may as well check this out just to see if I see anything about Eisner or the word Parasang. I'm curious, does electricity work at all? Um, apparently it does. I've actually never tried it myself. But apparently it does, it does actually work. People talk about it on the subreddit, uh, occasionally. Hmm. Not seeing anything. about Eisner here. I, I can't I can't really be bothered to do it with all of these books. Wish I could just do like control F. Hope the word Eisner. That would be a good little mod to make. 
wouldn't it? That, I imagine that would be quite easy just to put like a search function in the um, in the text. No, I don't see anything here about Eisner. I can always read the books later on after I give them to Shiba. Wow, lost again. You know what I really need to buy like ASAP is is tinkering, but I don't think we just to get like disassemble, you know? Or scavenger, sorry. I'm gonna get it now. I could be wrong about that, though, Frank. I, I, I believe electricity does work. And there's definitely got to be a mod in the workshop. Uh, we learn... Okay, after striking a deal with bears, Upa convinced them to help him found a workshop. Okay, cool. Ooh! Now that... Okay, that's a good tip. We found the legend of the ape, uh, the lair of the ape god. It gave me the feeling it did, since portals seem to seem possible to activate, uh, and you see broken electric. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like when you do the Grit Gate quest, where the Pewter Templar attack, and uh, it like breaks some of the electrical lines, and it stops stuff from working. So it definitely is working. You dropped a two-handed sword, kind of cool. I have no idea how you would repair those electrical lines. Maybe that would be like an upcoming feature for card is uh, some kind of base... base building or some kind of... Uh, I know, like camping or something, you know, like little mobile bases. That'd be really cool. Alright. Keep moving until we're no longer lost. Rockazins, salve injector, some water, beautiful. You'd like to have your own spot and customize it instead of using pre- Yeah, me too. I think being able to do that without having to have like 3D cobblers and beguiling, you know, to bring people over. Maybe also in the in the same vein as here's a cool feature I think is uh, you know like indoor fortress depending on how much stuff you have in your base the um, the like prosperity of the of the area goes up and then depending on that you can um, you can ask NPCs to come to your your base as like official traders that would be really cool. All right, who do we hand this into? Rise upon Quicksalt. I think I may be in the wrong village. I am indeed in the wrong village. God damn it. We need to go to Namrinip. Which I actually think is all the way up here. God damn it. Yo. Well, you know what? This gives us a chance to find the Dromad again. At least we didn't get lost. There we go. Didn't take long. There are definitely a lot of possibilities. I think that would be a really cool one to have. Uh, what do we want here? I think we take this to sell. All right. 
Right, all right. The Dromad is here. Apparently. Beautiful. Where are we, by the way? We are in which corner of the map? We're in the southeast. Okay, let's remember that for the future. Okay, we've got some painted crystal gauntlets. Ooh, he's got a flawless crystal battle axe. That would be really good. I don't think there's any way we can afford it, but you never know. Let's see. Let's see what we can sell. I mean, if if when if push comes to shove, we could maybe sell the books. We still don't have snake oiler, so that's worth remembering as well. There you go. These are worth quite a bit. This track playing at the moment sounds like something you would hear in, like, Silent Hill. How much can we make here out of curiosity? About 800. Um, what can we get for 800? Anything that... We might, uh, I mean, we, we could buy Herberies. You could just about afford a taco. We can't really get anything. We do need to start buying stuff to ID it to see if we have like um, metamorphic polygel. I guess we can buy some uh, some bits and pieces here. This way is one. We can't afford anything else. So let's do that. Perfect. A gas like Chris, nice. A metered solar cell, not nice. A fidget cell, not nice. And I okay, at least we've ID'd this crap now, you know. Let's just sell some of the stuff back to him. Don't want fidgets. I guess I'll keep the solar cell for uh, a recoiler. That's about all they're good for. Let's buy some trade goods. I suppose one herbary. Alright, cool. Go hand our books in. Wait, we're in the southeast, so we need to go this way. What level are we? Level 13. Okay, we're, we're getting there. I suppose we should uh, dr drink with this guy right now. Oh, we have shield, don't we? We need to keep an eye out for a shield. I just remembered. So, why don't we quickly pay a visit to the armorer? Also, check this guy out since we're here. He's got nothing of interest. The armorer is up here. Oh, and the friggin' bookbinders. Yeah, don't let me forget about the bookbinders. We have to... The theremin is strong in this playlist. It is, isn't it? I never even thought about that. What a cool instrument. What a really strange uh, instrument. Do you think it's easy to learn how to play a theremin? How much do you think that they sell for? They're probably not the cheapest instrument. I mean, no instrument is cheap, but you know what I mean, like... 
They can't be cheap. Alright, you got nothing of interest. Go check this boy out real quick. You also have nothing. Sure, I'll check out some ruins. I think we're going to start like heading towards the jungle. And uh, hopefully not getting blown. I can see something spawning over here. Yep. Come on. There we go. His corrosive gas will sort that thing out, I'm sure. Sweet. You tried it? Really? Uh, the theremin is super hard. You can get a cheap one for 400 Canadian use. You try, not for me, super hard. There's no frets, no point of reference beside your ear. You can tell me most people that bought a theremin never used it seriously. Most theremins become decorations. I can, I can see that definitely being the case. Um, it doesn't strike me as something that would be particularly easy. So I guess you just need, you need really good, uh, like a really strong ear to, to know what you're playing. I wouldn't be very good at that. I'm I'm okay, but I'm just a lowly drummer. Come back here. Got him. All right, give me all the give me all the garbage here, and then let's uh, head towards the jungle and and be really careful in the jungle. All it takes is a couple of goat folk sowers to, to ruin our day. Let's try and sneak up on this turret here. What do we cut off? We cut off a support strap. And there we go, level 14. Corrosive gas me? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we are We are actually going to need triple jointed at some point. If we're going to go pistol. I'm going to go corrosive gas because it's incredible. You were deep into home studios and synth for a while and yeah, people buy it, don't use it except for SFX sounds. Was the Doctor Who theme tune played on a theremin? Or is that some like weird 80s or 60s instrument, like some weird computer that did that? I guess we should be picking up these body parts to eat later on. Let me grab this. Drops his face. Well, he didn't drop his face. I, I cut his face off. Potato, tomato. How many points have we got here? 116. Uh, I wanted... Uh, we may as well get... Well, we need to get disassembled before we get scavenger. Finally, so I can... Uh, I can get rid of... Where the hell is it? This... And these, set this as scrap. And set this as scrap. Bum, bum, bum. You think the original might have been, uh, but the newer is probably synths. Uh, okay. 
I, I, I don't know how you... I don't really know much about synths. Um, how can you tell that it's a synth? Is there like a particular sound? Um, all right, I'm really worried about going to the jungle. So we're going to do it this way. We're going to enter the middle of this parasang. And we're going to just walk into the jungle. That is a friggin... Gy well, not a gyro humor, a pan humor. If this thing wanted to fight us, it would kill us so quickly. I'm really glad that it's a pariah. That means there's probably a, a legendary around here somewhere. All right, he shot the humor. The humor's going to mess that pig up big time. We've learned the location of a Dromad caravan. Beautiful. GBC Studio Synths. You read about it, that's how you know. Oh, okay. You can recognize some famous synths or, br or brands, but you're not a connoisseur. That's like when I hear a certain, uh, like, drum pack. Everybody knows, like, an 808. Um, you know, that that's, like, a really distinctive sound. There's also like a, a 909, which is the most 80s thing ever, like the most 80s sounding drum ever. Uh, Chrome Link. I, I really want to try and beguile this thing, but I know it's going to go badly, so let's not do it, because that guy can one-shot me probably. Let's wait for this pig to come up here. Fool. Let's eat. Playing a melee focus character, you're just so powerful uh, in the start of the game. It's really nice. Also, having the corrosive gas is highly pogged. Oh, we, we actually decapitated that pig there. We cut his head clean off. That's an insta kill. I see one of these uh, friggin' dinguses over here. Let's not get blown up. It's, oh, that's a flaming flamingo. He's dead. We cut his face off. Does this give us any ego bonus beyond like one? No, it certainly gives us one ego. Man, this is a tense track. This is freaking me out. You love drum machines. You have a drum brute. Ah, oh, cool. Kind of like an AOA, but not quite. Yeah, I, I've heard of that. I don't actually know what that sounds like. You know what? I'm going to pop corrosive gas now that we don't have a follower. We may as well take advantage of our... Ooh, not get blown up. The cooldown is just so good. Oh, we got a little close. Okay, interestingly, these, these guys will avoid going in corrosive gas, which suggests that they maybe have a brain. <laughs> Alright, we killed the, uh, the thing. There we go, we're good. Let's heal up. Oh, is there another one down here? I think there might be. Oh, we're good. Yeah, on my on my electric kit, it has a really cool... Uh, it has an 808 setting. I love I love the sound of the, the kick drum. It's so, it's so fat. All 
I remember when um, when I was like 19 in one of my old bands we were we were recording like a little EP I can't remember how many songs I think it might have been like five and we went to uh, we went up north a little bit to, to Nottingham um, where my where the guitarist knew a guy that had like a little recording studio it's actually a really cool recording studio um, and he had a uh, he had a really nice kit it was like a Ludwig kit and it had a he had a black beauty snare drum which is like one of the all-time great snare sounds and I can still remember like the noise it made and it was just it was so good to play those things are pretty expensive they'll set you back probably like eight hundred dollars or so You know, you know what I really hate about like modern, not music I listen to, but a lot of stuff I hear like um, on the radio, especially like uh, reggaeton. They all have exactly the same drum beat. It's just, it's all like, and like they never, they never stray from that, and it it drives me crazy. But at the same time, I can't help but tap along to it. All right, take some take some water. Now favored by Mechanimus. Good. That means we can actually go to Bethesda Sousa. Um. Also, we may be able to buy a Eater's Nectar injector from this guy. Yep, it's right there. Beep, 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 beep. All right, what do we sell here? We sell uh. Couple solar cells. Mm, may as well get rid of this axe if I'm being honest. All right, beautiful. All right, Frost, take it easy, dude. Have a great stream, and uh, I should hopefully pop in uh, if you're still on in a couple of hours. Take it easy, my dude. Uh, I may also buy the gold nugget. And yes, we can afford it. Perfect. Alright, let's pop this Eater's Nectar Injector immediately. One mutation point. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, what do we want? We want probably double muscled. Grab these luminous horse rooms. Grab all of the scrap that we can. And then keep moving into the jungle here. We have found cranial temis. It was like a terrible disease. Alright, we we have to be careful here, we're definitely, um, we're definitely not safe, especially when we have, the Equimax is not friendly, why? Oh, he's a member of a certain church, got it. Well, let's start by dismembering, well, let's pop Corrosive. And then taking out the frog. Ape, are you friendly? You are for now. You won't be in a minute. Dude, corrosive gas. Best best thing ever. Alright, this song is definitely outstaying its welcome a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I see something spawning in here, and I'm I'm a little bit scared. This is also scary. Got something. 
a freezing iron dagger with some kind of battery that we haven't ID'd yet. I don't care about the dagger, but I will take the battery. A lead acid cell. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is going to be a great way to power level right now. We cut his nuclear protrusion off. You know what? I'm going to beguile the ape because uh, it helps to have a little friend in these parts. Mostly just to distract the enemy. Alright, we need to heal up here. I do see this uh, sleep gas. Is this sleep gas? It is sleep gas. Uh, I don't really want to fight this thing. Would we cut off? A pseudopod. Alright, we definitely need to heal up. I'm trying to find what is the face equivalent for a uh, for a slime. This song sounds like the grounded. Is grounded the one where you um you shrink down and you're surrounded by like ants and spiders? Is that the, is that a game? Yeah, I I actually like the look of that a lot i feel like that would be that would have been a really fun game to play like multiplayer for sure also i think it kind of uh everybody when they were a kid they kind of imagine you know like being shrunk down and playing with ants at least i did Ooh, we got a bunch of horses in here huh well you know what get gassed i'm sorry my ape friend you're probably gonna die but there we go we leveled up hey okay um let's rapidly advance triple jointed because well no uh no that's not let's do let's do corrosive gas we don't have to worry about upgrading that for a while and then let's put a, a point into triple jointed here And I think actually I'm going to boost willpower just to get my... What is my cooldown currently for corrosive gas? Uh, let's wait until it's ended here. It's like 20 rounds, I think. It's 40 rounds, but because of our willpower... Let, well, let's, let's test it, right? I'm going to activate it. It's going to go for like 8 rounds... 22 rounds. Okay, so let's increase my willpower. And then we'll test it again. I will kill that maggot. And okay, now it's down to 20. Beautiful. Well, we, are, we are hitting like a truck right now. Oh, I like this track. be super careful here hmm 
what would you do if we just came across a legendary frog right now? I think I would actually die. I'd like end the stream. I'd just alt F4 and freak out. You know, I actually kind of here we go. Let's beguile this ice frog. Tell me, tell me where your your people are. See that? He just jumped. He's mocking me. He jumped over me. He knows that we can't jump. Have you done any uh, pixel art today, Frank? Seeing, seeing your... Um... Your guy smoking the cigarette really inspired me to, to try some more like um, more ref refined animations. I think mostly work so far. Okay, why have we stopped? I think our ice frog is fighting somewhere. Yeah, animating for the most part is really easy. In, in a sprite like it it's not easy but you know the the process is surprisingly easy did you like watch a tutorial or something take that look at this No, you just played and figured it out. Yeah, that's kind of what I did. It's pretty easy to, to figure out. You know about, like, um... You know, changing the frame times. Yeah, the experience definitely paid off, dude. Like, you, I, uh, for your first, um... Pixel art, like, it's insanely good. Like, really, really good. Are we wearing a cape? Wearing a banoose. We should actually wear this. Found about the shading tool today. Yeah, the dithering. The dithering tool is really good. Because reg like regular blur, like gradients, they don't really work. Oh, the shading brush. I thought you meant like gradients, sorry. Is that hotkeyed? Ooh, lots of books. The dithering is cool. Your first try looked fully divid and it looked so yeah, you, you have to use it sparingly for sure. It and you can't really do it too much on a small small uh small sprites. It's mostly good with bigger things, but But with the small stuff you can just do it yourself without using the tool, you know. You may be able to add uh custom dithering patterns you can use you can do custom brushes have you messed around with that yet making your own brushes yeah you, you basically just you just you make something and then you would just copy it and then you can use that as a brush so it's good for like repetitive uh things like if you're doing stars let's say in the sky you don't have to draw them individually. I guess you could also just use the marquee tool, copy and paste. Um, or textures, yeah, exactly. So 
So, so the shading brush, um, is that on the hotbar, or it, or do you mean like, um, is it in the the options? I don't use that very often. Normally, what I do for shading is I I make like a separate layer. I just normally call it shadows, and I just I just use black, and I paint it where I want the shading, and then I just reduce the opacity down. But if you're animating, you can't really do that because it's going to be really tedious. Oh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. That's right. Yeah, I, I should really use that more. I should definitely use that more. I, I don't use the shading brush enough. That's a really nice feature. Okay, there's our first goat folk sower. Did he get frozen? He did not get frozen. Let's let him come to me. Alright, beautiful. May as well uh, equip these. Oh, don't kill my frog. All right, we're we're, we're holding our own against goat folk. What do we have here? A displacer fungicide pump. Oh, okay. I thought it was something good. Um. All right. We got some Sultan law. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give the uh, the shading brush a try tonight as well. I think I'm going to redo my little, um... Oh, I forgot. I added it to the, the bottom left corner of the stream. Can you see that? That's maybe a bit obnoxious. But I'm going to keep it there for now, anyway. Uh, I'm going to redo that, that uh, animation. Ooh, scary. R.I.P. Rogma. Finally a shield. check we put that on the right hand um yeah that's fine ooh a snakeskin armlet beautiful That's opal pommeled, maybe it sells slightly better. I actually don't know. You realise you want to have more FPS in your animation than you originally thought. The scene you did is too clicky to my... I know what you mean. I think there is definitely a certain charm to having the... Um... You know, like this little rat in the corner. That's four frames. That's all that is. Um... But I will say there's something amazing. If you want good, in you probably already know this. If you want um, some pixel art inspiration, uh, wait. Let me let me let me show you real quick. Bow 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 bow. Because my I think like the um, 
some of the best um, pixel art I've ever seen, personally. Is like some of the metal slug. Are you familiar with the metal slug um, stuff? It is so frigging good. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm about to blow your mind, Frank. Let me show you my screen real quick. Right. Let me show you my favorite one, first of all. Uh, where is it? It's the giant crab. Here we go. This is like silky smooth. Let me, let me, um... Let me embiggen it a little bit if I can. All of the stuff is like this. And look at the color palette as well. That's probably like, I don't know, eight colors. Maybe, maybe more, maybe 16, but look at it. Look at it go. Incredible. And then let me, let me show you uh, a few of my favorite ones. This one is very cool. I love robots. <laughs> so this one's kind of nice. Um, let me go back one. That's not a GIF. Um, I mean, it's just so cool, right? I love it. I'm really excited. There's Metal Slug Tactics coming out soon, which is going to be like... Um, I guess it's more like a, well, like a classic tactics game, which I haven't played in so long. I'm really excited for that. Um, there's Into the Breach, which is probably the last, like, tactic game I played like that, but I don't know when that comes out. I can tell you, actually. It comes out... Ah, uh, okay, to be announced. We don't, I don't know yet when that when that's coming out. Anyway. The 3D effects are really well done. Yeah, it's it's an obscene amount of work. Like I, I really got to take my hat off to the the artists in in Metal Slug. I think for me, it's like the pinnacle of pixel art and what pixel art can be. It's so good, but the effort required, like oh baby. Like, doing a robot, not too bad, but doing the sand, like you said, like, you, you're going to have to do that frame by frame. Like, redraw it each time. Get it looking, like, fluid, you know? Let's eat his hand, because we're hungry. Uh, I may start collecting blood as well. If we can get at least one um one water skin of blood that could be handy later on. Oh, we're hitting like a truck, dude. We we decapitated that guy. Dismembered his head. I'm going to eat it. Uh, what do we see? We see a Yurt Warden. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Let him come to us. Hopefully take an arm off. Okay. He was decapitated. We killed him instantly. Um, I'm going to set the Isakar rifle to... Scr no. Actually, I'm going to pick them up for now. I normally set them to scrap, but they actually sell fairly well. Especially once we have Snake Oiler. Okay, we learn about Forgotten Ruins. 
Uh, slender. You know what? Let's equip them. Oh, baby. This is... Okay, this is a find. This is a find for us. We are doing pistol build. We'll take everything here. All right, beautiful. We actually have a, um, a friggin... Hold on, my... Task while we're showing. A little laser rifle action, baby. Oil. I, I trod in the oil like a fool. Let's just start collecting some oil. Let's set these water skins up for later. Set this to auto collect. I think we're I think we're ready to to do Golgotha for sure. What was the, the bonus again? Um, level 12, I mean, we're way past that. Level 18, we're definitely going to do it by. We should only be a few more screens away from Golgotha at this point. Ooh, okay, now that's slumbling. I think we can take a slumbling, personally. But I have been wrong in the past let's open with a little decapitation okay he's stunned oh we messed him up okay we 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 dazed him we stunned him so we got two dazes off which causes a stun we chopped off his left hind foot he's now bleeding and we cleaved his armor i may not even need to pop corrosive gas He's still stunned. All right, there we go. He's awake. Ooh. All right, he did hit me really hard there. 21 damage. Thank God we killed there. I was actually really... All right. Let's, let's be careful with the slumberlings. Oh, he just graduated. That's a nice cap. Yeah, slumblings are... Pretty terrifying. Good to know that we can we can kill it though. All right, where's the other goat folk gone? He's stuck in a web. Got another elastin skin suit here. Um, this gives you minus yeah minus one to hit. I don't I don't want that. You think it would sell? I think it might sell okay. Let's take it. Crollo, how are you doing? Welcome back. Nothing scares you more than gal gals. Yeah. If you have if you have above average um quickness, gal gals are fine. But if you don't, like they will just stun lock the hell out of you. Um I think on stream we had like a level 40 something that was killed. Okay, a, I see a portal open. Uh, yeah, killed to a Gal Gal. A Scorpioc? Wait, what? What is going... That's a legendary um, spark tick. It is. And it's called Sithis. Dude, that's badass. Um, okay, I'm very worried about the Scorpioc coming towards me right now. Um... Oh, maybe not. It's easy. I thought that was tougher. A tougher enemy. Apparently not. I'm definitely going to pop corrosive gas as a precaution, though. Uh, what just hit me? Poison. Shit. Okay. You 
guys can come over here if you want. I wouldn't advise it. Alright, we got meditation active. Alright, you're moving in. Foolish, to be honest. Alright, I do see the legendary. I'm a little bit worried, I'm not gonna lie. Let's keep popping gas here. Oh, oh yeah, we have a laser pistol. I forgot. Beautiful. trying to get meditation to pop here so that we can get a bit more health back and not get poisoned all right it's just you and me now mr spark tick I'm just going to stand here, dude. Uh, who do you have rep with? I actually can get robot rep from this, which is kind of sweet. He has a sharp, two-handed carbide longsword. Now it belongs to me. And there's a Gershling face here. Any extra ego? No. Eat it. Okay. You never did a quick build, so you never killed a Gal Gal. You'll get there. I, I think I tried to use a Gal Gal as the uh, the body for my golem. Which was cool. But I think they're best avoided, like most things in them. Alright, we made it. Level 16, we're at the Reef. Uh, not Palladium Reef, we're at um, Golgotha. Let's just auto-explore the map here. I'm a little worried about our armor situation. We only have six AV right now, which is, um, it's not great, if I'm being honest. We hit like a truck, but beyond that, we, we're a little bit, uh, a little bit squishy. We do have corrosive gas, though, which pretty much will count on most things. Um, we can also... Pop some corrosive gas here. And see how long this takes to um, melt through the door here. There we go. If we had wings right now, we could literally just fro float down this shaft and um, get right to the bottom. But I, th I mean, do we have rubber gum? We do have rubber gum. Do you think we'll survive the fall? I don't know how much damage a fall deals. Because um, we could inject that, jump down, and be right at the bottom. What a shame wall climbing isn't it? thing in card. Oh, Laisha. Firstly, hello. That would be a really cool feature. Having wall climbing. Oh my god, I actually never thought... I never even considered that. That's a really good idea. Okay. All right, I'm just going to jump down here then, I guess.
All right, we need to be really careful of the brown gels. Thank you for dying. Keep moving. Oh, I see what's happening. I'm like, why is this not? Let me, um, let me unequip Chrome Revolver here. Here we go. I want to make the most, here we go. I was going to say, I want to make the most of rifling for all this scrap. Though even if it is, it's quite useless to doubt. Yeah, I guess, like, uh... There's not many Z levels. Um, well, there are, but I don't know how it would really integrate. But it's still a cool idea. Alright, looks like we're done here. I mean, we, we can... We can just do this. Oh, and it was worth it, I think. Brown gel alert, brown gel alert, two of them. They're both dead. Man, look at corrosive gas, dude. So inspirational. All right, here we came. Oh, there we go, look. We just learned the mark of death. Also, also remember, I think we have points to spend. We do indeed. We're going to take Scavenger. I actually didn't want to go down just yet, but whatever. Come on, trigger. Thank you. <gasps> A brown gel. Shit. Bayard. Pop the gas, wait here. We can't get hit by the brown gels. They're gonna they're gonna give us all kind of nasty diseases. I did see the fly, by the way. Wait till the cooldown ends. Yes. Great. Put me directly in the path of the flame. Great job. Oh, hell yeah. Door to nowhere. Best item in the game. Uh, do we have an acid? We do, okay. into here no 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 wait the chest 
Guessing it's empty. No, wait, dude. You just ignored the chest. What is wrong with you? Uh, yeah, give me this. Shade oil. Skulk. Cool. Oh my god. That's a lot of dudes. Um, I don't like the snail mother. That that freaks me out a little bit. We'll be we'll be fine. We'll just pop corrosive gas. Just don't get hit by brown gels, and we'll be fine. out of here. Oh, we good. Corrosive gas, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what did this guy drop? Still dagger. Whatever. All right. Try not to get set alight here. There's a brown gel. Be quick, be quick. Get over here. Let them come to us. Doesn't brown gel only rust your stuff? Um... No, I think I think they uh, they can disease you as well. They do definitely rust, um, but I, I I'm pretty sure they disease you. But even the rust alone is enough for me to be like I don't want I don't want a piece of that action, you know. Uh, we're still fine for our battery on our laser pistol. Sneak around the corner here. Alright, what do we got here? We got painted overalls. Fresh F. Um I wanna see how much they sell for. I always forget. Alright, level 17. I don't even know what we killed. Oh, this guy, probably. Yeah. Alright, that's actually level 11. That's been uh, rapidly increased. So let's take... Um, we may, Why not? Let's go 30 strength. Look at us. Plus 7 strength modifier. Hot diggity damn. Upgrade this so that we can shoot a little better. We can get Berserk if we want it. Um, I kind of want to get uh, a Kimbo. I don't think we have the intelligence for Tinker 1 yet. No, we don't. Maybe we can get a uh, spry. Only black gels do that. Oh, okay. Am I confusing them? I must be. Oh wait, we have we have shield, right? We bought shield from. Uh... Let's take shield slam. Because we get we get. 
uh, strength modifier, which is 7. So we get 7d4 plus our shield's AV bonus, which is kind of, uh, kind of cracked. So let's take that. It's mapped currently to 4. We don't need meditate map, so let's get rid of that. We're going to map shield slam to 3. And then we go bing bong. My name's Ross. How dare you, first of all. Alright, we've made it to the bottom. Let's meditate. You pissed at me? You are? Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, we found Slog immediately, which is a little bit scary, because he can shoot. Uh, <laughs> Let's keep releasing corrosive gas here. Let's slog come to us. Whilst I sit here. So we know Slog is like up here somewhere. Really the only my only concern is Yeah, he's he's shooting at us right now. He's like over here. Or she's shooting at us. I don't know if she likes to close in. If she doesn't have to. Be nice to at least get some kind of visual. We do have, uh, we have stiff legs. Um. That means we're going to get Iron Shank, right? Let's be quick. Oh, damn you, slug. He's a crack shot. Almost tempted to just go for the droid and get the hell out. Ah, there you, there you are. Wait, what is shooting me? It, I thought that was slug. This is something else shooting me. Okay, that's, that's kind of terrifying. Okay, we're dead. <coughs> Shit. Um, unless... Uh, we beguiled, but we didn't get away in time. What killed us? Oh, the Agglefly. I assumed that was Slog shooting at me. I was like, why are they not approaching? Damn. Well played, game. Well played. What do we have? We had Displacer Fungicide Pump. R.I.P. Meaty McDonough. You were a fun character. I probably... I probably will play a variation of that character again, I think. I think maybe let's get rid of... Um... Triple... Triple jointed? And that gives us three points. Three points is not really a lot to get anything really good. We could get unstable genome. 
but I don't know. I feel like corrosive gas and um, disintegration could be a really cool combo. Hmm. Possibly. Possibly. Here's what I'm thinking. Step one. Loose carnivorous. Take. Let's take like. Um, I, I mean, I, always, I really like tonic allergy, you know, it, it's not that bad. Quantum jitters is fun, but it's also annoying. I don't want that. I don't want, definitely don't want that. Let's take tonic allergy. That leaves us with five points, which means we can get we can get something real nice for five points. We can get uh, we could get like regen and then night vision. Regen is just good because it basically is going to prevent us from. Uh, if we get, you know, dismembered, we're fine. If we get, um, like, a fungal infection, we'll be fine. If we get hit by a Gamma Moth in the late game, we'll be fine. Provided we have it at beyond level 5. Um, we could also get Two-Hearted, which would kind of be nice for the, um, for the extra toughness. Horns. I think then I'm gonna I'm gonna take Oh you know what wing wings would be nice if we because we have charge But I, I don't know. I, I kind of find wings a little bit boring. Let's grab this. And then let's grab... I like night vision. Thick fur is kind of nice for Bethesda, Susa. The rep I don't really care about though. So I think I'm going to go night vision. Why would you take beak? I don't understand. Wait, you can, you can still wear a mask with beak, right? No, you can't fly underground. You can only fly above ground. Um, maybe we'll take Beak, you know. Uh, for the extra ego. Gonna help with Beguiling. Wings is good. It's great for, like, for not getting lost. And if you find like a long, a deep shaft, like in Golgotha, you can basically float down to the bottom and then fly straight back up. Um... I knew my armor would be an issue in Golgotha. What did I say when we were going there? I was like, oh, our armor value is only six. <laughs> All right, let's take Beak. Let's see what different variations we have. We have Beak, Bill, Rostrum, Frill, Proboscis. Um, give me a Bill, dude. Billy Bon Beak Listen
Fasting way is really nice. Oh no, we're not a cannibal any we're not a carnivore anymore, so actually ignore that. Wayfaring is definitely the best. Um But we're gonna do Jopper. You can't beat Jopper. It's just free git free shit at the start, you know. Alright, bing bong. We got we got man opener with us again. Good to see you again. Beak really does nothing other than role playing or spending. Yeah, it's it's perfect for one point. It's only one ego, but that one ego is still quite. When you when you when you um because we have dismember, we're gonna get we're gonna cut some faces off in this run, and the one extra one ego means that we can we can get like maybe five ego just from our face alone, you know, including the beak. If we make it to the late game. Night vision's good as well, but who, who minds, you know, having a lit torch? I certainly don't. Alright, let's just auto-explore here. Last one you tried wayfaring in cliffs. The new one you went with Jopper again. Starting in Jopper is very comfy. Wayfaring is really good, but you know what else is better? Uh, having the extra extra quest and having the underground area where you can kind of power level at the very beginning. And getting the free historical site uh, location from, from the statue over here. Night vision would be good only if you can level up and see further. I'd rather have a glow sphere. Yeah, me too, for sure, Leisha. You know what's really good? Do you remember we did a playthrough where we were playing as a snap jaw that we dominated? And they have an amazing they have the smell ability, which is really, really cool. And I wish that was like uh, an ability that you could get. I know there's like clairvoyance, but it's not quite the same. Get in here. Hated by the Baraphramites and the denizens of the Id Freehold, dude. Not cool. Alright, let's see if we can buy any uh, nice gear. What are we actually wearing right now? We're wearing furs and we have a bronze battle axe. Masterwork Carbide Battle Axe. We can't afford it, but... Um, maybe later on. What's a good starter, Cybernetic? Um... I don't know, you know, there's nothing like super overpowered. The last the last one in the list will vary depending on which cast you pick. But night vision is is kind of nice. The um the bio scanner, optical bio scanner or the techno scanner can be kind of nice. Um Hey and Lino, how's it going? Good to see you again. Mmm. Yeah, carbide hand bones. Really nice. Forgot about that one. 
Night Vision is probably the best overall since nothing really obsoletes it. Yeah, rapid release finger flexors is good if you're doing like a pistol build. Okay, um... We do have a knickknack, let's go hand this in. What did, what did we pick up? Oh, the furniture. Alright, let's quickly go pick up like a new axe and some new armor and get the show on the road. I'm being shot immediately, god damn it. It's not what you want. Is there really no... There we go, let the dog deal with that plant. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I think um if I wasn't doing all the achievement hunting stuff, I shouldn't be fighting this guy, but here we are. I would love to do a true kin run. Get him. Oh, you're losing. There we go. Beautiful. What's our armor value right now? Two. If we're lucky, we could maybe grab the, the pickaxe, but I, I don't think we can... I don't know if we can get away with that kind of shit at, at level 2. Good, good, good. Man opener, thank you. Playing on a gun build. Then you should get rapid release finger flexors and look for a, a gun rack and just like Take four ruins of, of House Eisner. Just become an absolute lunatic. That was probably my favorite run that we did on stream, for sure, the Eisner stuff. I love that. All right, this time I'm, uh, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go toughness a little bit here because strength is gonna be easy enough. I will upgrade uh, regen as well at some point, but for now I'm going to focus on these two. I would love some snap jaws to kill. Seems like kind of a, a small floor here. Ah, alien. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a play for the um the waterlog tunnel. 
and hope that we don't run into anything too nasty. Along the way. It feels a bit cheesy having Man Opener here. Uh, they're, they're actually really good as far as followers go. I wish yesterday Baz told... Maybe you know something about it in Lino if you're still here. There's like a... Uh, one of the followers is like a, a plant that works like an, an ender chest. Where you can give it stuff and you can retrieve items in the... Uh, in any city. That seems really cool. Anything cool this way? Centipedes. Actually, this is a terrible idea. What am I, why am I fighting centipedes? I may have to pop corrosive gas. And kill man opener. Accidentally. Are oh, we good? Okay, let's take a uh, cleave. Yeah, that pet was really buggy back when you tried it. Cool concept, though. Let's see if it's working now. Yeah, please let me know. Also, is there a way to get... Uh, how do I get new pets? Do I still... Oh my god, that's a beetle bomb. What am I doing? That's totally going to kill Man Opener. Can I just resub on t uh, to the Patreon? Get new pets? Or... Oh shit, there's two of them. This is rough. This is very rough. I think this could be it, guys. <laughs> Just from nowhere. Well, R.I.P. Billy Bond Baker Beakerson. Bing bong. Bing bong indeed. Freaking slug snout, dude. What were we saying yesterday about slug snouts? They suck. Okay. I think I'm going to play a little bit of... I'm going to I'm going to call caves of card there because I I need to I think we need to rethink our strategy for um well no we're fine the the, the build I'm using is good like the axe build. I just I keep making really stupid decisions like going for um going straight to the waterlog tunnel but um man the uh the troll the troll situation like that's still my main thing you know getting kindrish all of that stuff um let's see how this works let me uh, let me pause the music We can have a little chat whilst this goes on. And, oh my god, it's bright. Holy shit. Let's just do the, the default 
um, start here. Let me change the uh, the stream title. Do 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 do. Uh, where are we? Here we go. 